frickin' Crowder. This is demented. Like, look, this dude, he's just an out-and-out bigot. He, I, I don't know what it is. Like, he may, maybe he's getting tired with the sort of the uh, racial bigotry for the time being, or maybe it's just he's getting tired with the uh, transphobia for the time being. I mean, or it, it probably happened at a different part of this show. But the just incredible misogyny. Now, again, this is a this is coming up because, of course, there are abortion bans all around the country. And in some instances, there are supposed um, uh, exceptions for rape or incest, the health or the life of the mother. And of course, you know, we've talked about why those exceptions are just BS. You've got. Uh, lawyers who are basically saying, you know, we're not going to um, uh, you know, administer care. We've got to wait. We're not even going to give uh, cancer treatment to women who are pregnant until they're very, very ill. Uh, you've got places like Mississippi, uh, or I should see, uh, say Tennessee, for instance, where they have a total abortion ban. But uh, the real example there is that, like, they've got rape kit, rape kit backlogs that take months. Yeah. Months and months. 50 weeks. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Sam, but when you have an abortion, when you need to have an abortion, particularly if a ban says it's a 15-week ban, it might be a timely procedure. You might not be able to wait for a rape kit. No, I mean, there's no way. There's absolutely no... I mean, Tennessee doesn't have this problem because they have a total ban on abortion. They don't even have an exception for rape. But if you think that uh, rape kits are just moving along in all these other states where and uh, rape prosecutions just fly through within six weeks, 15 weeks, 20 weeks, whatever it is that you have these exceptions for, you're nuts. So that's why, just to explain, like, what, you know, what, what's getting under his skin here? Why is he talking about, why is he going out there and basically saying rape doesn't exist? Yeah. First of all, his understanding of rape is um, like that of a maybe an eight or nine year old child maybe but an especially misogynistic one but but yeah but his just general understanding of what rape is and then everything else that follows is the misogyny we're all <laughs> against the rape okay just to be clear so what i'm about to say is not an apologist for the the, the, the rapist mm -hmm. like that man at walmart right. clearly guilty of rape of course as she insinuated yeah. mm -hmm. but Understanding that rape is primarily uh, a, a, a crime of, I don't know, you're going to say it's a crime of power. Okay, get it, well, whatever. Uh, it's primarily a crime of wanting to have sex with someone who doesn't want to have sex with you, and so you have sex with them anyway. Wouldn't it stand pause to it, reason? It. I mean, that's, there's not. Rape is bad, but, but, you know you're on the wrong track when you go down that road. It's, um, it's, it is a violent crime that is not like someone I want to have sex with who doesn't want to have sex with me. That's not what that is. Mm -hmm. That is just his, uh, you know, maybe dating experience. But this is, that's not what rape is. Continue. That the victims of rape would usually, not always, generally be those who are most desirable sexually considering the crime maybe like the fives to tens I mean, like you don't carjack a 98 oldsmobile no <laughs> and this no. And it's always ladies like that who are claiming they're pause it, I, pause I, it. the reason why you can make this analogy is because women to him are simply a commodity that's why you can compare it to a 98 oldsmobile mm-hmm and uh, the idea that, like, apparently, like, that, that rape, rapists are, you know, sexually attracted to their victims. This is really, really, really horrible. I mean, just incredibly destructive stuff because you understand who he's talking to too like and his... who gets raped by the way it's not just you know hot women at parties dude you know children get raped too children children get raped so i mean are you comparing them to different kinds of cars like a like a hot lamborghini 
or a, an old beat up, you know, uh, lemon or whatever. Give me like that is that he's completely ignoring that element of it as well. Oh, it's just it, it's grotesque. Continue sexually considering the crime maybe like the fives to tens I mean, like you don't carjack a 98 oldsmobile no <laughs> and this no. and it's always ladies like that who are claiming they're raped i've searched and i could be wrong about this mm -hmm. claiming there are many right how many times i've been to a change of my mind it's always a blue-haired would-be lesbian feminist who claim they're raped as far as i know not one victoria's secret model has been raped <laughs> dude, dude yeah, first wait. off like 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 what not one uh, is he saying like First of all, undoubtedly, the numbers of rapes in this country are extraordinary. The idea that like not one Victoria Secret models have been raped, the idea that, you know, he's denying the existence of rape here. Yeah. He's a guy who he talks about those changed my mind. He did a change my mind that was rape culture is a myth. He is, I mean, he is trying to claim essentially that all these like rape can't exist because only ugly women have come to me and said that they were been raped. And isn't that suspicious because who would rape them is literally his logic. I it, mean, did he look at the Harvey Weinstein scandal at all? Because those were sexual assaults on women who were in the acting field for so that immediately disproves his thesis. But I mean, he, he also just like he doesn't have the ability to under well he's commodifying women as well but uh, i lost my train i thought i had something uh, yeah i mean right. it's it's all just garbage it's yeah. disgust but it, it is it is the logic that would appeal to like a 12 or 14 year old uh child boy i mean that's these are the people who are watching the show incidentally yeah. and i and i know this doesn't matter but there was an investigation from the new york times in june of last year that was entitled angels in hell the culture of misogyny inside victoria's secret so i don't think they're immune to being ogled and harassed and assaulted by disgusting people like Stephen Crowder. But either way, it's like whether it's whether it's um, uh, unattractive women lying about it or the attractive women, it's that it's the women's fault and something about them that <laughs> leads to the rape without and not, a doubt. Like, male violence. There are many, right? How many times have I been to a change of my mind? It's always a blue haired would be lesbian feminist who claim they're raped. As far as I know, not one Victoria's Secret model has been raped. <laughs> and they have wings. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> the odds old asshole may, may, maybe they in. were gonna be victoria's secret model and then that's exactly it and I then did. the blue hair until someone lightly brushed their arm at walmart yeah and they right. gained 300 there's pounds no rape. because of it yeah right. <laughs> yes. right. it's, it's it. just i'm just sorry it's pause always, again. It's all... but like the lightly brushed their arm at walmart right. this woman was attacked at walmart by a guy and had uh, the guy to be pulled off by bystanders like uh, what are what what is this riff it's uh, i mean Someone just wrote rape apologist piece of uh, shit. I mean, this is actually sort of like denying rape as well. And he has people who were uh, uh, accused on his show before. Oh. Well, I mean, surprise, surprise, I'm sure the, the thesis here is that uh, ugly woman women aren't going to get raped because they're ugly and non-desirable. And so rape is always through the prism of my own sexual desire and my perception of women as either worthy of being raped or not worthy of being raped. And the women that are attractive haven't said to me personally that they have been raped. The women that I've in, in, encountered who'd said uh, are, that they were sexually assaulted, I find them unattractive. So I'm going to make the assumption that rape doesn't really happen because then it would only happen to attractive women. Like, this is the mindset that, he, that this disgusting mindset that he has. And it's all really just in, um, through his own perspective of the world. There's no um acknowledgement that other people have experiences that aren't filtered through his own eyes secret model and then that's exactly it and I then did. the blue hair until someone lightly brushed their arm at walmart yeah and they gained 300 pounds because of it yep that's yes right. that's it's it. just i'm just it's always it's always and it's always a rate that's completely unverifiable right yeah and it's always used uh, for example to justify cutting in line right <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're just playing yeah. the odds game, you would think that, like, if, again, if uh, rape is horrible, but if I'm a rapist, but rape is horrible, again, but. I'm not a rapist, I'm anti-rape, but if you've crossed over, you cross that threshold, you say, you know what, I don't care, I'm going to be a felon, I'm going to inflict violence upon a woman, I'm going to have sex with a woman who doesn't want to have sex with me back, so now the barrier to entry is removed, the woman doesn't want to have sex with you back, wouldn't you pick the one you most want to have sex with? <laughs> 
That's how that works. Uh, Rapists just get their pick of the litter. Milton Apathy, former police officer, I am, and worked several rape cases. If you could look at the case files, it would break your brain. This is a very, very violent crime. And you know what this also feeds into is, say a woman is raped. Well, what was she wearing? I mean, she stirred my sexual desire. And so then it was probably just a miscommunication about uh, I wanted to have sex. She didn't want to have sex. And she's calling it a rape. But like that skirt was shows so short. You can avoid uh, rape by not looking so attractive to the rapist. I, I mean, come on. I mean, this is uh, like, how is this guy not deplatformed? I'm sorry. This should not, the, you two needs to get its, its shit together. Like, this is rape apology on on for millions and millions of p- people. I don't care if I'm called some sort of like censorious, censorious authoritarian. Yeah, get him off this mainstream platform now. This is absolutely vile, disgusting stuff, and there should be no place for it on this platform. He can go and have his own, you know, Infowars kind of thing where it's a subscription service. Fine. Do whatever the hell you want. I'm not censoring you. You still have the right to an internet, and you'll still make a ton of money, I'm sure. But get him off this platform. I wonder what he uses... Report the video, people. Seriously. I I mean, he's got that gun. I wonder what he uses it for. He tweeted out something weird yesterday, too. Um, This this was just... uh, I, I guess you just think about rape a lot yesterday. Um, there's a difference between rape and regretful sex, he tweeted out. You just want to parse that? It's the difference between rape and regretful sex. I, I just like, don't understand what that is. Like what he's tweeting, that, why, he, why you tweet that out. It's a very strange thing. Like, well, it's you're again, getting ahead of something. It, uh, you know, it is a Cernovich level of uh, rape denial. And the idea that, like, there's no such thing as date rape, right? I mean, that's what he's basically arguing yeah. here, that maybe there's uh, somebody out there that has had uh, sex and has decided they don't, they didn't want to, and now it's not, that's not rape. Pretty bleak to be speaking for the guys who are like, oh, she's saying it's rape, but she actually just had such an unpleasant time that she's decided to, like, make this sort of lie about me. Ridiculous. And this is why the rape incest exemption is such BS, because, like, they'll still say, hey, you know, uh, states can make this determination. And yet this is like the mindset of the same people that want to ban abortion is that rape isn't even real. So we shouldn't even be engaging in the rape and in, in, uh, in incest exemption. Uh, conversation because it's just a fig leaf for their own uh, theocracy and their desire to control women. They don't actually care about those things because for them, they, they're, there's no real rape. There isn't even really rape. So if you are pregnant, you deserved it. Doesn't matter if you're 14, doesn't matter if you're 16, doesn't matter if it was against your will, you deserved it. And of course, he also said, you know, rape, it's, it's not verifiable. <laughs> We know, we know that's the problem. That's the problem with the crime. That's why it's difficult to solve it. And because of the mindset of people like you, they don't care about rape. They want men to be able to do whatever the hell they want. And he uses his platform with millions of viewers to advocate for that. That really is uh, disgusting. It really is disgusting. And there are models after models who've said they've been acute, who, who, that they've been sexually assaulted as well. So just, you know, it, it's, it's also just a lie. Um, should we save the uh, Ben Shapiro for tomorrow or uh, that seems to have legs anyways sure um, let's uh, let's talk about Don Bolduck yeah I just I'm sorry that just really made me angry angry yeah I mean all right just uh, you just you head it off I Margo just like from, I think about like say I have a fan of you know one of my friends gets sexually assaulted in that kind of perspective. It's just really it's it's just it's gross. So <laughs> Margo from Mass as a sexual assault survivor, what he calls regretful sex is just trying to inflict guilt on survivors who already feel guilt due yep. to the trauma. Yep. Thinking the assault was somehow their fault. He's priming people to say Yes, it was. I mean, that regretful sex thing, that sounds like something a parent of somebody who's raped uh, comes up with to try to excuse. Oh, she's just regretting it. Like, I don't know. That's rape culture. That is just that, that is just what rape culture is. Yep. Yes. Um, Demian Crowder's just wish casting at this point. Um, 
topical username. Crowder isn't a rapist, but if he was, he'd put an awful lot of thought into the prospect. So that's what he's saying. Like, I'm going to assess whether it's worth it for me to rape this person. It's just uh, that's how it works. Uh, twisted. <laughs> so twisted. So uh, twisted. And, and 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 let's be clear, too. This is not a question of like, oh, our dainty little ears can't handle it. This is his show is geared towards young men, period. The demographics that he caters to are literally teenage boys. Yeah. And he is doing his best to develop future rapists. Really is just grotesque. Yes. And, um, and yeah, I have no, no problem uh, advocating, uh, you know, deplatforming of that type of garbage. I wouldn't have a platform with that freak on it.